We're here at ABD Ankeny on Wednesday, May 28th, and we've got a, I think it's a 36 meter pump here, so it's got about 100 foot of boom to place concrete. And uh, we've got multiple trucks backed up to it. It's kind of loud, so uh, I'm standing away from it so that you can hear what I say, and then I'll move up closely so you can see the pump in action. And it's interesting to see how uh, technology changes pavement work nowadays. When I was doing this 40 plus years ago, we did it out of the back of a truck with a lot more uh, muscle power. Now you can see the, the uh, concrete dropping out of the end of the hose up there. They can put it exactly where it goes. We'll walk up and take a closer look. Here we've got two trucks dumping simultaneously into the hopper of the pump. If you look closely, you can see the cylinder cycling up there that's pushing the concrete through the pipe. Pump can place the concrete exactly where the guys want it, saving a lot of labor. The operator's down there with a remote control joystick device so that he can move the hose exactly where it needs to go. We have a laser screed right there then that will uh, strike the concrete to grade. So the laser screed is moving into position. When he gets to where he wants to be, he'll hit a button and it will uh, automatically level up the screed. And the receivers up on top will receive information from the laser beam to tell it what grade to go to. The two puddlers up in front are responsible to make sure that there's enough concrete in front of the street to do its job and leave no dips in the concrete. They're doing a good job. You can see the finish behind the street is perfectly good. And over there, they've got a bolt post that's uh, starting to finish the concrete. Two lines are layouts for uh, control joints that they will cut in with a paving saw later today. We'll try to do that within 24 hours so that any cracking that occurs will be limited to where these joints are. And then we'll come back and seal the joints with a uh, asphaltic base material, probably, or perhaps maybe a neoprene rubber, depending on the specification. Here we have a smooth bar contraction joint dowels. These are actually released to allow the uh, pavement to slip upon them as the concrete contracts. And these dowels here are deformed bars and they're used for another type of contraction joint called an L2, I think it is. Well, it's Friday morning, May 30th, and in two days' time, our contractor has placed about a thousand cubic yards of concrete, about nine inches thick, and we're left with one placement to do over there, and they're going to do that later today. Um, they've also got all the control joints cut, which is a good thing, and uh, a lot of people don't understand why concrete cracks, but it's just the nature of concrete. It's going to shrink when it cures and it will crack so the idea is to cut control joints and make it crack where you want it to crack and uh, our pavement is about nine inches thick 
and you want to make your saw cut about one third of the thickness of the concrete and I've got my jackknife stuck in this uh, crack down here if I pull it out and show you that uh, that's about the depth of our saw cut which looks to be about uh, two two and a half inches or so so we should have a uh, good looking paving when it's done here it should crack on our joints and they're actually going to seal these joints tomorrow and we placed C4 concrete which sets up very quickly and the reason we do that is because ABD is chomping at the bit to get their trucks back here.